Can I get to Peter Stamaton's place in a half hour? Probably not. But I'm damn well gonna try. I'm pretty close to starting to take damage because my exhaustion's so high. Shit, please tell me I can jump over this. Thank god. What just happened? Oh no, Peter Stamaton in danger. Immunity's going down. Not gonna drink that nasty water. Oh god. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that just massively tanked my immunity. Oh, I think I am actually gonna get there in time. 17 minutes? Oh, run. Not stopping for that. Man, my gloves just ripped. Ten minutes. I need to initiate a conversation with Peter immediately. Hi, fuck off. Life is a night at the bar. All the wisdom you gain, you pay for in pain. I should have left this godforsaken place two years ago. Get clean and move away for good. But I have no spine. I'm not a real man. Cannot leave her behind. Leave whom behind? The tower. My precious tower. The locals call her the polyhedron, referring to her as it, as if she were inanimate. But for me, she is alive and female, and I can't abandon her. I have to gaze upon her again and again, to convince myself she exists. So it was you who thought up that thing. Peter Stamaton. I'm considered responsible for her creation. But I'm not God to completely defy gravity. It's happenstance. Such a tower shouldn't be. It breaks the laws of physics. Laws of optics as well. Just a coincidence. Your brother disagrees. Ah, you spoke to him, didn't you? How is he? If I even ask, though... My brother's a tough man. He can overcome any hardship. Your brother's alive and well. Listen, what's your name? Artemy Barach. Why have you come? Prophylaxis. You're in a plagued district. Listen, doctor. You should check on Anna, too. She's a circus artist who lives nearby. She is mysophobic. I'm worried she might lose it completely these days. She's an interesting one. Be a pity if she died or went nuts. Mysophobic? What does that mean? Oh, I just looked it up. It's the same thing as a germaphobe. I'm worried she might lose it completely these days. Yeah, wow, this is... For her, this would be like... A living hell times two. I'll check on her. It's my job. I hope I have time. Prophylaxis. Mm, a minister and immunity booster. It's a good thing I left one tincture.
Okay. We got decent immunity. Did something. Anna Angel, a circus performer. I remember them from the original Bathologic. Hmm. It's about to be midnight. I wonder what's going to happen. Uh, what just happened there? If I give an immunity booster to an inhabitant of an infected district, they have a higher chance to avoid infection. I can't guarantee anyone full protection, but I can rig this in my favor. Okay. This person lives, but mortal peril looms. The sand pest chokes their district, floods the streets. I can see that. Immunity protects each person here. Some have a long one, others, but a short. The span of ones is long, another's short. What? What? I never thought immunity could be measured in centimeters. <laughs> a dice roll makes a clearer picture, sir. At midnight, death will roll his dice to see if he rolls high. This one will perish. If he rolls low, they live one day more. Your part, Barach, is but to adjust the odds. Oh, it happens at midnight? Oh, I hope Anna doesn't die. There's zero chance of me getting there before midnight. By raising their immunity, yes. I'm not completely clueless, you know. A store-bought cure or tincture brewed from herbs would help them stay alive another day. Lucky me. I happen to have some. Near human, you must act. These dull cocoons may one day become real and need your help. Near human? They're not dolls. They're people just like me. And one more thing. The plague moves stealthily. It has no need to speak of its arrival in a place. When plagues buy windows, people are at risk. But on the morrow, other districts will be touched, and you must find them out yourself. So watch the town's condition close, Barach. It's not dice then, it's hide and seek. I'd love to look at this place. But uh, let's just see what happens at midnight. It's gonna happen in a Here we go. Today was a turning point. Fates are decided at midnight. If you want to protect someone, take care of them before nightfall. The new pantomime is being rehearsed. 343 people infected, 36 gone missing, 26 people died. You've managed to protect the crude sprawl from infection. Shit. Hmm? Oh man, death rolled high. Shit. And Hannah's fine, thankfully, I guess. Actually, no, 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 no. Anna's not fine. It didn't show me a role because I haven't talked to them, which means they're not in my list of people. That's why I didn't show it. <sighs> Time waits no more. It isn't uniform. It what just got marked? Oh, the theater performance. Each day is followed by a shorter night, and each night by a yet shorter Wait. day. Who are you? Who is this person? And is closer than you think. Oh, fuck. That's them. They're infected. I thought they were still standing over there. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's all. That's all great. Mhm. Mm Things are going great. Let's get out of here. Actually, ah, fuck. I have to sleep. I have to sleep. I don't even have morphine on me. 
I want to go to the dead item store tonight, which means I somebody told me you have to view the theater play to go to the dead item store. Because I have a lot on me. Like, I got eight broken ampules. I don't know if that can give me anything good. Never been to the store. <sighs> I'm going to have to sleep or I'm just going to start taking damage. I could try to just trade coffee to somebody. Okay. How about this? I'll sleep for an hour. Was I remembering? Okay, that's gonna have to be enough. Yeah, I wonder if that was, um, how do I refer to him? My, I guess my bride or something? The one I'm supposed to be with? It seemed like I was remembering them. So many little hoppies hopping all around. Um. Oh, this district isn't infected anymore? It's not red. Let's go to where the town is calling me. Fuck, there's so much to do. Let's go to where the town is calling me, and then I'm going to go to the boat and go to the performance at the theater. No! Oh. Fuck. I thought I had to hit him three times. Didn't I just do that? You still attacking? Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, that's a knife. Oh, fuck. Hell no. No, 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 no. I'm getting the hell out of here. Shit, shit. I need my stamina. I don't care if it's a taboo, you're trying to fucking stab me. My god, fuck off. They don't even give me a chance to loot them, the bastards. You better have some good on you, dipshit. Eh, it's alright. Autopsy. Um... I want some of their blood, actually. Give me that... Give me your blood, asshole. God, my health is garbage now. Um, I should probably use my bandage. At least that freed up some space. <laughs> Alright, what was I doing? The town is calling me over here. It's like a little picnic. But that's not where the town is calling me. It's calling me here? Right on the other side? I believe it's on the other side. Oh my god, are there more? It's 
just gonna walk around with my fists out then. Oh, I guess they're at one that I beat up, so they're running away from me. I'm doing kind of terrible right now. I feel like such a mess. I feel like everything's out of control, and I mean, it is. Hello, Mother Bodo. This note is poisonous. I hope that's a joke. Alright. Let's get out of that fucking boat. I need to get the hell out of here. Things are getting ex- whoa. Things are getting extra dangerous at night. They, I thought, like, they weren't too bad before. You'd occasionally see somebody wanted to punch you, but there, it's like... Three of them, including one with a knife? Okay, um, I want to get to the theater performance. What is that? Laura, Bad Grief, and Ruben and I are meeting after midnight in the old place. Oh my god, I forgot about that! I gotta go there. Yeah. Let's go there. Um, try to figure out which one is better to go to. These are both equidistant. Kinda, roughly, and this one takes 10 minutes less to travel to. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's go here. I feel so stressed out. Oh, this place is infected. Lovely. Sticky and danger. <laughs> This is not the sort of game where things are going to stay in control. Grief's in danger, right, because, yeah. Infected district. This way. Just broke. They all around the fire? Yeah. Came. They all came. Good. Oh, I can sleep here too. The winch has 
us all over a barrel. Nothing to be done about it now. A murder of crows, huh? They sense trouble. Heed my wisdom. We're all in for it. It only took them as little as yesterday to start cutting folks. Means will soon go completely and absolutely off the rocker. People get used to death all too quick. So what will you say to your thugs then? They're no longer mine, cub. Mine are all at my side. Although, hell, I pretend. Not all of them. Not all of them are mine anymore. And then there were none. What are you planning to do? What can I even do? Pretend I'm still their leader to their face, then disown them around polite society? Already on it. What else is there? I think you need to pick a side. It's too late for me, cub. I've only got one road ahead of me now. Perhaps the outbreak is for the best. Plagues are like fires. People forget old scores. And all hell will break loose here soon. Any dark prophecies to share? You're the criminal mastermind here, after all. No need to prophesize. People fear hunger. Even honest workers will turn their hatchets and hammers to crime. Burgling houses, looting corpses, gutting each other. They will. Oh, they will. Not all of them, Grief. Not all. The turf's so dry you don't even need a match. A glare would start a fire. And when the kin bears its teeth, that's when we'll all dance. They're slow on the start, but oh so fast on the draw. The master likes them mute and obedient, but apathy makes them that way, not stupidity. They're only obedient till the time comes. And here it comes. You're right. And the people who lose their jobs? They won't be too fond of staying home. They'll find new hobbies, like looking for food or venting their anger. And Fat Vlad shut his facilities down the day before yesterday, didn't he? Crafty. Didn't whisper as much as a single word to me. Do you think he knew? I think he might have suspected. Perhaps that's why he locked the termitary to protect the workers. If it's the same sand pest we saw five years ago, we're all finished. There was no salvation from it. Every single person in the crude sprawl died. Your father was fast enough to lock the doors back then, so it died there. Only reason we're still alive. Now we can't even lock the gate. And there's no one to lock it either. He made a hard choice. Perhaps if he had more time, he could have found a better solution. My heart beats uneven. We've been talking while we were waiting for you. What'd you talk about? Isn't it obvious? Any old grudges pale in comparison to this sort of catastrophe. Tragedies like this bring people together. Ought to, anyway. So it did to us. I disagree. The outbreak will sow discord. It will tear apart friends, families. It wasn't the plague that got us together. It was you. If not for the plague, no one would change their mind. No, it was all you. Your will. You've done really well, Cub. You swallowed your pride and the wrongs done to you. You weren't ashamed to vouch for grief. I don't think I could have done the same. Come on, you were always the thread that held us together. We'll protect each other. And we'll try to survive. Yes? We'll try. By the way, do you know why all the stations were shut down? Both the cargo and the passenger stations. Has it been long? The passenger station was shut down a year ago. A cargo only recently, in the summer. There was some sort of a renewal project. Remember how enthusiastic they were about building new railroads before the war? Were you also there, on the front? 
No, of course I wasn't. I'd make a terrible soldier. What do you know of this disease? They're calling it Sand Pest. You know why? Why sand? Because it makes your skin dry like sand. People still believe it came from below the ground. All those fairy tales of an earthen golem, a clay-legged shop knock. You know. Oh, so this is, um... This is an important point. It makes your skin dry like sand. Remember we found, I think it was three odd things when we examined Isidore's body? One of them is that their skin was extremely dry. Nonsense. It mowed down everyone in that poor district last time. No survivors. Every single person got infected. Every single person died. Does this mean there's no hope? Perhaps there isn't. So what? The most important thing inside us need not rely on hope. I hope you don't mean the internal organs. It's good that you still have the sense of humor. What just changed? Hmm? You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. I think I should go. It's a lot of work to do. I didn't expect you to come. Neither did I. But I don't regret it. I've regained my strength a bit. This place, it's good. I've already forgotten what the step is like. What's that train car over there? I don't remember it before. Damned if I know. I think someone lives there. A kid, maybe. I saw a ball there in the rails. Kids often gather around these parts. Not everyone is fond of that polyhedron. Not everyone fits there. You've got a keen eye noticing a ball in this dark. Well, yes, I can't complain. I do have a good eye. Looking the wrong way, unfortunately. Ah, forget it. Enough idle chatter. Yes, I'm angry with you. And you ought to understand why. It's not anger, pal. It's a jealousy. Let go of it, will you? It's ridiculous. Perhaps old friendships can be mended, but our lives will never be the same again. And Vlad stays quiet. Has his finger in the pie, I'm sure. They're just hanging out on top of here. Talk to you? I guess not. I can't get up there. Can I? Huh. Hmm. <sighs> what now? I need sleep. Oh, I need to eat. I can take care of that a little bit. That's the only food I have, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, I need to sleep, but... I really want to go to the theater before the freaking morning and then go to the dead item store. Also, the kids are doing something here. Let's go see what the kids are up to, and then along the way, or like right after that, I'll go to the theater and see if we have time to go to the dead item store. Forget the exhaustion. I'll just hope I can trade for coffee beans with somebody. Oh god. Oh, they have a knife. 
I don't know where the hell they're going, but I'm just going to uh, not go that way. Hmm, smoked fish. For some fishing hooks? Heck yeah. Plus one match. Good trade. Fortunately, I don't have room, but, you know, I love eating some ground fish. I think the kid just ran away. I assume the person with the knife came back. Uh oh. Are you gonna fight them? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Shit. Come on, get on me. Attack me. Kid, my god, you're brave. Yeah, fuck. Why are you T-posing? <laughs> what a brave, weird kid. Damn. No loot. You fuck. Give me your blood, asshole. I didn't have room for the blood? Oh man, I thought I already had some on me and it would stack. Ugh. Morphine. I think I want to trade for that, because next time I want to sleep, I want my health to go up a lot. And all that good stuff. Let's trade two bracelets for it. That's... Yeah, that's fine. I'll over trade. It's okay. 